This video is so we can understand the output file formats when it comes to taking, say, a social media advert and decide whether we want to export it either as a JPEG or a PNG file. These two graphic formats are, are quite different. So here's our typical social media advert, okay, a typical image here, and then we've got some text. One thing to bear in mind is that this white area is just the page background. So it's not a frame with the color of paper. It literally is the color of the page itself. Okay. Now, if I navigate to what is page two, I've got an explanation here, which is the differences between when you export, what sort of effect you wanna have when it comes to what is effectively nothing. So my focus just now was on this sort of white area near the bottom. Now bear in mind again, it's just the color of the page. It's not a white box, but when you expose a JPEG, what you get is anything which is a nothing, okay, which looks like a white background, uh, comes through in the export to JPEG as an opaque color. Okay, so in this case, white. However, if you wanted to give over what is an effect whereby the white is a none, okay, nothing, transparent, okay, completely see-through, and that could be something like a web banner where you want the background of it to blend with the background to where that web banner is going to be placed onto. So it's pretty important to know the differences between JPEG and PNG when it comes to creating your output format, file format, when it comes to things like social media posts or banners on the website and so on. So if I just show you the JPEG version, okay, so this will be a JPEG for what is page one, and you'll see that the JPEG has kept it as opaque, which means nothing becomes white. Go back in, we export this one as a PNG format, okay? So I'll do the same for this one, and then what is white becomes none, okay? So these are things to bear in mind when you're looking to create your export file format for social media.